Constant torment, constant misery. 
I, that wasn't a pleasing thing for me. You know, when I, I think about it, so yeah, I said, that it, it's about time for me to try to get my life together. If I don't start now, because tomorrow is not coming to me. I, I might be able to do like the, 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 the thief that was on the cross. I might have time to say, Lord, remember me. Have mercy on my soul. You know, and I might be saved. I don't know, but I, I know that I can't afford to take that chance take when that I'm going to have right. time to say this. So yeah. I'm going to yeah. try to live right where I have the opportunity, where he's giving me the opportunity. And he, he's walking with me each and every day. So that's I just before your uh, ordeal with the car, I was in one also, you know, and, and I know the Lord stick with us. And you're trying to put his hand on I'm trying to let you know I'm saving you. I'm, I'm steady watching over you every day. What are you going to do with your portion of life? You had better get your portion together. I'm steady working with you. Sometimes we have to open up our eyes to see. Yeah. Uh, we can't see what's going on. Then we, we're doomed. We're doomed to spend eternity in hell. And if you can't see no better than at least coming and listening to the word. Yeah. Open up the Bible and read the word. Something is going to get you. Somewhere in that Bible, something, it's just a portion of it. Something's going to stick enough to make you say, I, I think I'm not living right. I think I better do something else. I think I better search my soul and see where I'm, where I'm headed. You know, and, and, and I'm going to get up, away from up here, because I'm sort of getting emotional now. But uh, I, I just want, I want the Lord to know that, uh, that I'm going to try to live my portion of life uh, in His grace. Praise the Lord. Yesterday, but you know, you can testify for God every day. But I'm just gonna make matters real short. That's the first I just like to give out to the Lord and to the pastor, Ryan, and all the ministers in the house, to the congregation. I do thank and praise the Lord for Him being God, you know, and I just appreciate the Lord for being in control, you know, and I just thank the Lord for how He helping me to realize just what He really is, you know. Sometimes I've walked along in life and I didn't really really just think about what God really was, you know? Sometimes you just don't think about how powerful, how mighty, and how important that he is to you. But you know, these last days I begin to realize how important God is to me. You know, I, what I really want to testify about is how the devil tried to get me with my time. You know, I'm, ha I'm having trouble with the front end of the van, you know? Okay, I went and had Tyra put on there. And, uh, but the people that put it on there couldn't, couldn't uh, put it in line. My strong wheel looked crooked and it's got a little shimmer because they couldn't line it up. They told me to take it to the, back to the dealer and let them line it up. So when I took it back to get it lined up, I didn't have enough money. They were high over there. And you know, I had enough money with my tie. Ain't that devil, man? Yeah. I had enough money with my tie, Brother Mac. You know what it is? They were sitting there, look, you just can't keep riding around here like this, like this. Take a little of that tie, money. God, I understand. I said, you got to show will. I understand that I'm wrong. You know, and I just I thank the Lord. And the devil talked to me so hard, guess what I did? I didn't get to get it fixed, but I I, I there and got 10 more dollars off of that pile that was for the tie rod. And know what I did? Add it to my tie. Right. Tell the devil to talk to me about, you know, I just, I see the time I couldn't do that, church. Right. You know, and I just appreciate the Lord because I know I'm growing in God. You know, right. I, I appreciate that. I thank yeah. the Lord for being in a molding realm. You know, we're in molding reels, you yeah, know. God yeah. is molding us. He's making us. Yes, and I thank God for being off in one of those molding reels. Yeah. And I just appreciate the Lord for how that he blessed my mind to want to serve him, to praise him, to talk to people about God, get rid of so much garbage and so much filth, so much stuff that used to enter my mind, let my, my mind be a damn workshop. He just set up, couldn't control my mind at all. So every time I turn around, my mind was running along. You know, but I thank God that God is putting my mind back in place and I thank God for how he touched my body a while ago and healed me because I had a six spell. Yeah. Real bad six spell. I had him last night. I tell you, see like death was just putting me right on out of here. But you know what? I kept telling the devil it wasn't my time. Right. You know, I went through last night, you know, I went through through. Today I'm having so bad over there, I'm saying you you know it. I'm just saying the prayer, but I feel like something was filling me out of life. I went back there and asked Brother Austin to pray for me. Yeah. You know what? I feel better. I, yeah. I thank the Lord. I believe you're here. Y'all pray my friend. Appreciate your testimony. Appreciate all the beautiful testimony. Right. I appreciate yeah. them. Appreciate Harris. Praise God. Yeah. Yeah. We're working 11, 11, 11 days, right? With God. Praise God. Praise the Lord today. Thank you, my hand. Amen. Praise God. 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 Praise God.
to the ministry. Praise God. Heal the press. Praise God. He said that Mr. the Ross preacher got healed. Praise God. Cause he ought to still hear about it. Praise God. He was still be. Praise God. All the young people should have listened to that. Praise God. Who is the sister? Praise the Lord, saints. Praise the Lord. I said, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. How many know we serve a live God? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah, Jesus. You know, I come to give God the glory and the praise on today. Praise God. You know, I was sitting on there in my seat. Praise God. And uh, when it came in, you know, I had a man just to praise God. And uh, she got me asked people to testify. But you know, the next, I couldn't move. Praise God. But I thank God for rebuking the devil. Praise God. to be glorified, praise God. And I thank God for the pastor, sister Austin, and the saints of God on today. I thank God for being in the house of prayer for today, praise God. You know, I just thank God for his word that been coming forth, praise God. You know about believing, you know, trying the spirit, you know, and seeing that this the spirit of God, praise God. Because y'all, we gonna, y'all know the time we live in, we need the truth, praise God. And hallelujah, Jesus. And ain't too many people preaching the truth, praise God. And I thank God for the truth on today, praise God. You know what I mean? God help me to digest it more, praise God. Don't get me wrong. Sometimes it came across and it hurt me sometimes, praise God. But I go away and I pray about it, praise God. Man, it's got to help me, praise God. I only do come to make it strong, praise God. And I'm learning that more and more and more, praise God. I might cry a little bit, but praise God. God said, come to make it strong, praise God. How do you, if I just submit myself to it, praise God. So I'm learning more and more. And I just thank and praise God for my family. Praise God. And I thank God. My mother, praise God, how he yet got her here, praise God. You know, I just thank God. She moving more, praise God. You know, she twisting her left heel, praise God. That was something she could not do, praise God. She raising her hand, praise God. And I just thank God, because I'm yet believing God. Hallelujah to bring her out and make her home, praise God. I'm going to attempt to sing a little of this song, praise God. Jesus is on the main line, praise God. Because I come to get something from Jesus, praise God. Whatever you want, Jesus got it, praise God.
Thank you for giving us a line here today. There's millions out there that ain't even considering getting into the house of God today. Father, thank you for giving us a mind to be here and give us ears to hear. Lord, I appreciate you. I love you for what you've done for me. Lord, we may not be the best, but thank you. We may have a long way to go, but thank you for bringing us from where you brought us. God, you brought some from the crack houses. Some you brought from prostitution. Alcoholic. Lord, some from gambling, just nightclub and party and all, all this stuff of the world you deliver. Yeah. Father, and I thank you. We all thank you for bringing us from back. Yeah. But we look back on our life and we see, Lord, what we were headed to. That was heaven. Yeah. Yes, 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 yes. Place of torment, but God, your grace, your mercy. Right. Reach out to us and you give us an ear to hear. Lord, give them an ear to hear, those that are out of the way. I love ones, Lord, give them an ear to hear. Lord, there's a spirit in the nation of doves. People don't hear. Can't hear you, Lord. Lord, they have just let the gospel pass on over. They shoot off. The Father thanks you today for giving us a mind to come. Lord, I heard Sister Eden say the word is cut, but the Bible, Lord, your word said it. Your, your word was like a two-edged sword. And it's cut. I thank Lord that sometimes us preachers try to not to say stuff to keep the word from cutting. But God, you know all things. You know. You're trying to give us strength. You're trying to mold us. You're trying to make us. You're trying to spare us from a place of destruction. And I thank you, Lord, for rebuking me. And I thank you for chastising me. Yeah. Lord, because I want my soul to be saved. Yeah. Yeah. Give me these that I minister, Lord. These that gather in this place. Give me these souls. Give them to me. God, I'm asking you to put your anointing in me, Lord. That can destroy every yoke of sin. That will be upon their heads, upon their necks, upon their shoulders. Give me these that have a mind to, that desire, that want to. Lord, to be saved, that want to go with you. I pray, give me the hearts and the minds. In the name of Jesus Christ, move for the sick. Deliver the bow. I'm asking you, Lord. God, I believe you. And I know you're real. And I ask you in Jesus' name, God, to stand up for the evening. Come sit and hear this word. Sometimes it's sharper than a two-edged sword. But God stand up for these. Lord, if they ever need a request that they need you to do, Lord, we pray. Remember, God, answer it. In the name of Jesus Christ, you call me. Lord, from the world, you call me from alcohol, cigarette smoking, nightclub. And you told me to go tell them you're real. Father, I need you now to stand with us, Lord. Sometimes we say some hard saying. Sometimes we preach some stuff, Lord, that flesh just don't like. But I need you to stand with us, Lord. If this is the gospel, if this is your way, Lord, if this is what you're calling for, stand with us, Lord. Stand with me as I minister. God, don't leave me alone. But help me, I pray. In the name of Jesus Christ, Father, and I thank you. May you be praised. In Jesus' name. Give a hand, great grace. Thank you, Master. You know, the Bible says the word God is quick and is powerful. And it's sharper than any two edged sword. It's a, so it's easy to say this to give us strength. And that's all it's for to give us strength. The Lord be trying to hit us off, you know. And, uh, sometimes it takes some sharp rebuke. And we appreciate that. Those that work on the fish fry and stuff like that, that appreciate the gathering. 
All of it just by profits. Huh? Really the same hundred dollars of profit. So we appreciate those who donated the stuff. And those who uh, donate your time and all that stuff. We appreciate it. You know, it was good you can have people that get in there and uh, help and be willing to donate some, you know. And I just want to let you know we appreciate that. We thank you for that. And listen, I, I asked the Lord to help me to not to say things. I got a habit of saying that's what I feel. You know? And I asked the Lord to kind of guide my words. And uh, my sister had to see bring this little change around here Sunday, you know, for the land. Just to help them on the land. Now, if you ain't, you think against it, don't put a nickel in there, okay? But I don't want you to put a pen in there. Think about it, and they put ten, eight or ten dollars you raise, and sometimes not that much. You know? But these sign by just gonna put them in there. Yeah, yeah, sure. Then for the one that's willing to do it, she just asked for a change. Sometimes folks put a dollar in there, two dollars in said it, he'll do it. And the Bible said, if he's spoken it, he's going to make it good, brother. Right? He's gonna make it. God said, there's one thing about the Lord. If he says something, that's it. It don't make no difference who believes it, who don't believe it. If God said that, that's it. That's it. That sells it. That sells it. And I appreciate the Lord. I appreciate everybody. And I thought I'd just mention that. I said, maybe I wouldn't mention If you think it ain't necessary, you want to throw in the change, go ahead and throw it in there. All right. If you think it ain't necessary and you ain't going to give it to no changes, just going to put it in there. You know, and hold your peace. All right. Don't put it in there, go your way, hold your peace. Don't criticize it. You know, just hold your peace and go on, go on about your business. Don't discourage others. You know, sometimes they got to say in a miserable like company. Sometimes we try to win other folks over here. We need not to, we not be pleased with the Don't try to win other folks over here. let them win to the gospel. Let it go. You know. I'm going to speak to you today for a few minutes. Lord's, Lord's will. You know. Tell you how to put it tight. I don't know, I just wore out of what? Especially yesterday morning. I laid there, I laid there to the last minute. And, uh, but the Lord, He always, you know, I, I don't never want to put off, put off, uh, put off the gospel. Put off the gospel on myself. You know, I don't never want to put off the gospel on my flesh. You know, I, I'll be tired and I'll do something else, Brother Shaw, but don't let me be too tired and put off, put off the gospel, you know. Brother Theo, you, 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 that's right, you're doing right. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. You're doing right, man, getting up and exposing the enemy. 
I'm not mad if you walk around there, don't you? Just know you're saved in your heart. Know you're saved in your heart. In your heart. We, 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 we like to get around folks and fit in with them. Let them know, man, we just got Jesus like they got Jesus. We're saved and all this stuff. Forget about that. You know, Mark? That's some folks won't probably won't even recognize me as a preacher. And I ain't worried about that. I don't even want to associate with no way. I don't even want to fool with it. But all this stuff that they call gospel and working with God, it ain't. No, no. You know, it ain't. And they can say what they, you know, we probably go to a place where they wouldn't consider me such a Considering big guy, I got them doctors on you, they think. Them DDs, they probably think. I didn't pay a guy, but them DDs think they're dumb dogs. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. I mean, they, they, they go to these seminaries, they teach you to believe in Christmas, teach you to believe in Easter and Santa Claus, teach you not to believe in the Sabbath, teach you to break God's law. You know, they don't believe nothing. And it comes down to the Bible, they don't believe nothing, person. You know? I'm not even believe in the uh, creation, God's creation, that leaves us with evolution and stuff. But that ain't Bible. So that DD stands for dumb dog. Can't ball. Can't bite. Man, I'm roofing, roofing, brother. I don't mind roof, roof. But God's giving me. That's why I tell folks get it in your heart. Whatever you get, get it in your heart. Because if it ain't in your heart, it's a test down the road going to take away from it. Right. Yeah. That's a trial down the All street. Right. Come on, man. It's going to take away from it. It's going to test you. It's going to come up against you. Yes. If it ain't in your heart. Thank you, too. If it ain't in your heart. We got to get what we get from God. It's got to be in our hearts. Because I'm telling you, ladies and gentlemen, there's a trial down the road. There's a test down the road somewhere. Right. It's going to find out this is in your heart. Talking this thing is one thing, but let me tell you, when it comes down to God is fixing it, the Lord is fixing to talk. Let the real deal come on. It ain't holy for you. Right. Hope you thought he was the real deal, but he <laughs> found out. He found out that little boy was more real than he was. Oh, <laughs> he's coming to sing that same little Christmas song on this one. I said, man, he's shocked when he found out Gene wasn't with him. <laughs> he thought Jesus was with me. He didn't sing this Christian song. Jesus, I'm tired of y'all fooling me like that. Uh -huh. I'm tired of y'all using my name and. Uh -huh. On, Use all this stuff to think I'm going to stand up for you. Come on. Yeah. So I'm just going to show you, ain't with you. They got to be holding through the socks off. Praise <laughs> <laughs> man, God, they hold through the shoes, but a man just send that title all over the head. He like it's supposed to be. And that's what it should be. They love it. Should have good. Yeah, they love it. Yeah. <laughs> We are strive. Make sure there's something in your heart. Make sure there's more people say or not. Make sure there's something in your heart. And don't be deceived, ladies and gentlemen. No, I, listen, I try to tell you folks the truth to this group. Like I told you, you out there sucking cigarettes and stuff like that. Don't you think you got the Holy Ghost? You ain't got it. That, that, that's a fool. And this is a fool that bleeds. Because some folks can take what I'm saying now. It's, well, I'm in my heart, I just believe, I know how I'm saved. And if you're smoking cigarettes and drinking, you ain't got the Holy Ghost and you ain't saved. I'm not criticizing nobody, talking about no Bible. See, we got to be able to separate. Bible said, right and divine. And we can take this faith like this and believe that in our heart. But 
The Bible says that's a way that seems right unto man, but the end of all the ways of death. And this is not to condemn or judge no matter, but this is just to lay it out here. Praying. Folks are committing adultery and they're testifying that they're going to heaven that ain't so. But I just believe in my heart where you just sincerely believe in wrong. See, that's why I want to separate. I don't want folks, I tell you to know what you got, believe in your heart. I want you to do that. But I don't want you to get up there believing. If you know you're in the sins of the world and you still believe in your heart that you're going to heaven, that you need to sit down with somebody. You need to get to somebody's church. You need to hear God's word. Or oh, folks are being deceived. Yeah, they are. Being deceived. They are. And I'm here to try to help. All right. Folks are absolutely being deceived. Yeah. Amen. You believe? And I ain't want to get on that. But I just. I'm right. I'm trying to help. It's the reason because sometimes folks take what you say and they apply it the way they want to apply it to it. But I'm trying to straighten it out here today. All right. All right. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about me. Yeah, don't worry about me. But worry about the Bible. Yes. Right. Right. I mean, don't, don't, don't let your hope in God go right to what the Word says. That's right. It, it don't have to lie right. If the Word says no, adultery is going to get to heaven, you commit adultery, and you just believe in your heart that Jesus Christ rose from the grave and all that stuff, it ain't going to help you. Right. Oh, Amen. So know how. Don't sit there and believe one thing because you say and know you commit the sin of the world. Listen, no, that's a that's a deception spirit and a deceiving folks, you know. So when I'm walking in faith, I just believe God. Well, you gotta believe God out of that sin that we're in. You know, folks are being lost, sister Bruce. I mean, folks are perishing. Thank God, Lord, what you doing? Because I ain't doing that. We got to make a difference. We got to set the record straight. Oh, oh sister. Charlie's son, we just had to talk on Thursday. He brought me off. He bring, oh, bring me off. Every week he bring me off. Sometimes 20, sometimes 10. You ain't going to be. So I'm going to come by that man and say, you want to do a song. I said, okay, come on. He drinks. He's drinking in. He drinks about everything he's eating. <laughs> Good to me. That was good to me last time. <laughs> I know you. You're real nice. I know I just every morning. Fix food, boy. Come out. I'm taking my mother off. You're a real good guy. He bring off and like. And he said, we was talking, you know. He said, man, the Lord is taking some things from me. He said, you should drink that wine. Now the Lord is taking that from me. He said, the other thing, I, I can feel the Lord beginning to pull away from me. He said, I still drink my beer. And I just talked to him, you know. He did it talking, yeah. And I, I couldn't say nothing, you know. Right. I just waited. We ever come, start coming, then we can get to eat yeah. it in on them. Yeah. So he looked at me. He said, I, 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 know, I know you can tell something in me. I said, yep. Yeah. I can tell something. You can see something out there. I can see something in me. He, he thought he did God was in me. I thought I know it be. I said, be. You know, I, 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 I can tell you, you, you see something in us, yep. But he's a good guy. Real nice guy. Real, real good guy. But he just got this bracket to you. See, you think he's going on for the Lord. See, that church is a totally man. The one thing about here, if y'all outside do that stuff, it ain't because I ain't told you. I'm not going to condemn the judge for it, but it ain't because I appreciate everything that moves if I can think of it. Because I'm going to stand before Jesus. You know, if I accept this call sometimes, the preacher, they love this preacher position. They love to be a preacher and be called a preacher and stuff like that. But you know, a lot of preacher people do things for them. You know, but then it's a position, you know. Get women. Man, preacher get more women in the they want them that want them. I mean, is that, no, that is the devil. Yes, it is. You stop being a preacher, you're not going to let me take it to nobody. Let's get a preacher in the pulpit. Man, women be. But that's the devil. Yes, so preachers is. get that stuff. 
They get to be preaching what they want, whatever they want to use it for. But let me tell you, they forget they got to stand before Jesus. All right, all right. All right. I'm going to stand before Jesus, heart. I'm going to have to stand before Jesus. And give an account. Got to give an account. What if it's today? What if it's tomorrow? And God forbid it'll be that quick. But whenever it be, Sister Bruce, I'm going to have to give an account. Amen. You see? Now that preacher I've been telling him, listen to him, man, so I'm not going to condemn the judge, but that's wrong. That's wrong. You know, then he wouldn't be thinking. That he on his way to heaven, drinking alcohol. All right. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 Ye
पूरम सही
because we're not right, so I think Sister Rose told Fred, I'm having trouble with this. I'm having trouble with this guy. Fred told her, don't, don't worry about this, pray about something. <laughs> but I told him, we set Jesus to the side, and then it's big, big up your righteousness. We set Jesus over there, and then start picking up your righteousness to see how righteous you are. All right, all right, all right. Then we can even raise our hands. All right, all right, all right. All right. Set Jesus aside, and then we start picking up how good we live. And man, I tell you, we'll, we'll burst out in the tears. Right. We'll be so embarrassed, man, we'll even hate and win before God. Yeah. Yeah. It's Jesus that makes us That's what we are. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Makes us what we are, so strong. Yeah. That's why we need to. I know I'm going here, man. That's, right. That's why we need to strive. Lay a sign. Uh-huh. Every way and every scene. You know. Sister Bruce, this is when the grace kicks in. Okay. Look, people don't get out and let somebody tell you, teach you, tell you that you're on the grace and you can do anything. It's all right because you're on the grace. That is a deceiving spirit. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Yeah. That's a lie, Mark. Right. And out of this life, grace kicks in. Grace helps you through. Yeah. Grace, you live what you can. Folk can't get out here and live like everything in the world and thank grace cover them here that's not so. They're not so. The Bible says in Corinthians, if any man be in Christ, he's a new creature. Old things are passed away, and behold, all things become as new. We are a new creature in Christ. Some folks are going to give an account. Some preachers' blood going to drip off their hands. Some preachers are going to give an account of what they're telling them. Telling their people. Well, God, what I'm thinking to say is, 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 is it ain't no sanctification in the church all the time. Right. Right. I'm not talking about getting in the church until I get saved and confess. I'm talking about sanctification. I'm talking about cleaning up the spirit and cleaning up the flesh. I'm talking about getting sanctified, getting sanctified, getting set apart. Maybe the church ain't set apart from the world. church. I mean, everybody go to church and say they're saved before they've been saved by us, Sister Come on, now. Come on, There ain't no sanctification no more in the church, is it? Sanctification means set apart, set aside. Come out. And you can hardly find that today. You have to get some saved. Let me say I'm sanctified. All right, now. People used to get sanctified. You're sanctified no more. You don't have to wear cotton stockings to be sanctified. You don't have to wash wash your hair and don't do nothing to do to be sanctified. And I always believe believe the Holy Spirit. We're doing street service. They don't want to work street. I don't know what I was wrong. Like, you gotta have, I ain't had no kind of stockers. And I believe we need, we need to be sanctified. Right. We need to be working on it, though. Right. That's why I, believe, I don't believe all, all hey, this hey. old GD and MF right. and SOB need to come out of This stuff come out of Christian's life. Right. Drugs coming out of Christians. Christians are smoking drugs. Yes, Christians is drinking and smoking cigarettes and, and running to that casino gambling and <coughs> writing their name, somebody else's name down at the hotel restaurant. Sanctify. Man, I hope ain't nobody getting mad at me today. I'm going to tell you, I'm just praying back as God, I'm going to, because I look like I get up priest. Stuff like this so much, but God, I'm gonna be some faith today. And I got my faith scripture up there. We need. I'm gonna be some faith today. All right. I'm gonna pull out a few of the time he hammering like that. But you know, I get up trying to do one thing, something else. You know what we need? We got to, we got to come into perfection some kind of way. We 
Captain Brother Mike, we just can't we just can't go on the way we are going on. You know, Christians going on the way they've been going, going on and on and on, never coming to perfection, never being purged. I mean, a lot of Christians ain't even looking to come into perfection, not even looking to be purged. Some of them not even looking to stop doing what they what they used to do. Yeah, God, God. It's going on. I go to church, I pay my tithes, I testify, I sing, I shout, and that's 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 the satisfying. Satisfied. But when you get sanctified, Sister Rat, you get brown meal, you're gonna get rid of that brown meal. Day's work. Beach nut Copenhagen. Skull. It's sanctified, you're gonna get rid of them cools and whiskers. John Walker Red. You get sanctified, thank God you're gonna man. When we try to feed the what the neighbors do <laughs> See a truck pull up. See a furniture truck pull up. I peep just. I wonder what in that truck. Man, I mean, that's a voice that's trying to draw this new furniture. I mean, I mean, no, we peep out the window to see what our neighbors do. <laughs> but sanctification. And we gotta work on this like all of us have. Yeah. I mean every one of us gotta work on this. Right. We gotta work on getting sanctified. Brother Charlie, but just the art is for me, it comes to me first. Right. Us. We gotta get sanctified. Right. We gotta get sanctified one more time.
You know, what I got to say about this stuff like that? I, I went to them and bought me a six pack of beer. Six pack of Big Cat. Gave him a $20 bill. And he turned around and counted me up. $20 plus some change. And I, I see what he's doing. I saw what he's doing. Man, I was so glad to get that money. I took off and left, left my beer. Said, no, I got <laughs> I, I tried to stop him, you know. I, man, I was giving that extra money. Then I went back. I thought, oh, man, I forgot him to be logged in. I said, he didn't know what he did. <laughs> when you ain't saying about it, you're going to do stuff like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Catch my check at a liquor store one time. He said that and counted out my check. Counted out, he counted out an extra 20. He picked it up and counted out again. He, he knew something wrong, but he couldn't figure it out. He, count, he counted that money three times. I stood there counting right there. I didn't say it. He kind of gave me, he saw he couldn't figure out what he doing, he just gave me, I got that, <laughs> got out of there, man. But when you get saved, oh, and sanctified, yes. you don't call it a blessing. All right. All right. All right. All right. When you get saved, sanctified, brother Mike, man, God do something with your ears, man, you don't hear this. <laughs> <laughs> My oh, brother Philip thought he had him a VCR, you know. They got it. So old brother Fred a drink came in, nothing in the two bricks. Thought he had him a VCR, but he can save his thing if I make out he can't go listen to that stuff. You don't buy that hot stuff. But you got a lot of Christians today. It's going to be Christian and buying hot stuff. The church has got to get sanctified. Got to get sanctified. Mine has got to be. Look, 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 he started to look at it about a week or so. Later, oh, nothing, nothing but a drink cage in there. An old, old wooden drink cage, you know? But when you get sick, the guy tried to sell me some antifreeze. I took him, no, nah, man, you can't give me a receipt on this ticket to catch me. I said, I don't want it. Man, you better sell that stuff something like a dollar a gallon. And it was done to win, too. I needed antifreeze for class and all that stuff. Like that. But that devil tempt you. Oh, man. Yeah. Yeah. Well, he'll tempt you. Man, you can say you're eight or ten dollar man, shoot that devil will tempt you. Uh-huh. But that's why you gotta get the Holy Ghost. You gotta you gotta get sanctified. We got you. Because we are none of the world no more. And this the church need this. Oh yeah. You said, if the devil ever tempt you, just repent of it. Yeah, repent. Since you've been saved, the devil ever told you you got a blessing and, and you know what like, just repent. So God forgive me. So help me, forgive me. I messed up that time. We gotta be careful. Yeah. Nobody else, guys, nobody here wanna sell this and sell that. No, I'm not even interested. Because I know it's stolen. Yeah. Yeah. And folks stop buying all this stolen stuff, folks will stop stealing it. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. 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 Amen. 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 Fit six inch screen television man for five hundred dollars. You know, we about to sell no fit six inch screen for five hundred dollars. That's true. It's hot. Yeah. Stole it. I told my son. My son when I got some time from somewhere, I didn't have any. High on the rims and all. I should know somebody gonna get it. Oh, oh, oh no, that 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 these here down there that got Mississippi. I don't care where it got it from. They stole it. <laughs> And somebody won't get hit him. Well, they were stolen. He bought them from somebody else that was stolen, you know? They gonna get him. Man, they got his whole car. <laughs> <laughs> we stop drinking. When we get saved, we 
sanctified. Y'all forgive me. All right. That's 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 all right. Amen. Everyone needs help in this place. Yeah. I know I do. I, I, I'll be praying for this. I need help. But I know God is calling for sanctification. Yeah. And we get sanctified. We get satisfied. I'm satisfied with the word of God. You know, Brother Malcolm, when it's cussed me, I'm satisfied. With it. When it fire me, when it rebukes me, I'm satisfied. With it. You know why? It's God's word. I know God. God is love, bro. He's love, and He's doing it to help me. He's doing it because he loves me and he's concerned about me, about our soul. You know. Thank God. So we get something. Let's get something in our hearts. If you don't get sanctified, get sanctified. Get sanctified in your heart. If you don't get sanctified in your heart, you forget about it. It'll last a little while. It ain't going to hold out. not going to hold out. Brother Mac, if you make up your mind that you're going to live sanctified, safe and sanctified, it's in your heart, you can do it. Yeah, yeah. If it ain't in your heart, you ain't gonna hold out. Ain't no hold out. Right. Not gonna hold out. Hold it all. Oh, I, I thank you. God, I appreciate you for this. Oh, I, just, I have gotten my faith. The scriptures I wanted to preach on faith. God, I guess you wouldn't have it to be so. <laughs> but I thank you. Thank you. Mighty God, help us, Lord. We, we don't want no trouble. When we die. Lord. Do what you have to do for us. Mold us and make us. Jesus, this, this is our very life we're talking about. Lord, where are we going to spend eternity? This is what we're talking about. Jesus, help me. I don't, God, the scripture said, Lord, we don't know what we ought to pray for like we ought to. And God, we don't know how to pray like we ought to. But God, you know, use the offer and the finish of our faith. You know what we need. You know what it takes for us. And Lord, I'm asking you to help us in this place. Help us here in the house of prayer. God, you said your word ain't grievous. Just help us. Give us a mind to, Lord. We just get out there and try. you help us, Lord. Live one day at a time. In the name of Jesus Christ, Father, I thank you and I appreciate you and I love you for what you're trying to do for us, Lord. Help us to accept this that you're doing in Jesus' name. And I thank you. Praise the Lord. Come on, give a good hand. Praise the Lord. I appreciate the Lord. I'm mean, appreciate the word. Thank you, Father. Lord is trying to help us, and I appreciate it. I need help myself. You know? Alright, I don't want to be lost, man. I don't want to be lost. I do not want to be lost. I appreciate it. Listen here, ask the Lord to give you strength, give you help. You know? And uh, Ask to be your strength and give you help. Right, he had helped you. Appreciate it, Christian. So the Lord will give you strength and the Lord will give you help. Yeah, we're not perfect. We're we going to make mistakes. We're going to stumble and fall here and there. But there's one thing about the Lord. If we have a willing mind, God will help us. Oh, yeah. It may not happen overnight either, but we just hang in there. We find ourselves overcoming and overcoming and overcoming and overcoming. If we do anything, we'll we'll move camp. Thank you, Father. Put that loose change in there. 
Now they head towards the landing, trying to purchase. You know, it don't be much, but there's a little bit of help, you know. Uh, we didn't put the, y'all got stuff to say? We didn't put that table up, so y'all have to probably go back the old way. We got it locked up on the, on the building, so we could, we got to, uh, that little spot there? Yeah, you can use it in the future. I got it locked up on a piece of building. So you can't, you can't get that one. Uh, if you want to, you just take the little table that we use in the morning. Listen, remember the Lord, good to see Sister Eileen. I see, I saw your sister several times on the tent. And your mother. Stir that faith up to believe. Help me to believe, God. We, we've given often and often and often. Help me to believe, Lord, when I give off. Help me to believe, God, that you're going to bless us. You're going to rebuke the Bible. In the name of Jesus, Father, God, thank you. Praise the Lord. We appreciate it, God. We're going to be letting out the little today. I enjoyed it. Thank 
This request, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, God granted to me, so this is a good request. Well, this is something pleasing to you. Matter of fact, this is what you asked of us. In the name of Jesus, God, I ask it to be granted to be so unto her. Give her this desire of her heart. God, I believe she'll be a more of a blessing to you. I believe she can do more for you, God. I believe she'll be more pleasing to you if you give her this request. In the name of Jesus Christ, God, I decree it to be so. Lord, you know how to do this. You know how to bring it to pass. You know how to work at it. You know, God, how to influence her. You know how to stir. In Jesus' name, I'm asking this to be so. Satan, get back out of the way. And I bind you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Use a lie and all your hindrance that's being pushed aside. And all that that you try to put up before her. The occupy her mind, the occupy her time. I decree it to be moved out the way. In the name of Jesus Christ, every hindering spirit, God, I command you to bind it. Bind it by the name of Jesus. Bind it, God. Let the spirit, God, dwell in the house to put you first. Move out every spirit that would hinder you from being first. In the name of Jesus Christ, let flesh be second. I decree it to be so in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I, and I thank you, and I cause every soul to be subject unto you in Jesus' name. I decree it to be so. Now, thank you. Huh? He says, submit yourself to him, and he'll and resist the devil, he'll flee from us. We submit ourselves to God. We can resist the devil, he'll flee from us. You got, Brother Theo, you got a lot of witnesses here. You got Brother Malcolm, Brother Fred, Sister Easton, Bridge, Brother Mike, you got a lot of witnesses here that have been delivered from this stuff. And they're going strong. Father, give him strength. Thank you for that testimony. Give him strength. In the name, help him to go home. When you feel like shouting, let him shout. God, don't let no hindrance be upon him. And this, this way, he'll get his deliverance, God, to give him deliverance. I pray for his strength. God, give him strength in that place. Give him somebody, Lord, in that place. That they can strengthen one another. Touch for the grave. And then that, God, would be good to have some workers in that in them home, God. They would get in there with the Bible. And they would be a strength. God, touch some of them. In the name of Jesus, I decree it to be so. It ought to be a law where they ought to have the workers all be Christians. Okay. It ought to be a law. Thank you, Jesus. Father, I thank you. And I believe you. I thank you for answering prayer. Lord, speak. To this, send your word to this blood pressure, this high blood pressure. Father, use a miracle, God. We're going to send the word of God to her body. And we command this high blood pressure to be regulated. God, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I decree this to be so. I decree it by your word and by the authority of God that this blood pressure be regulated. Devil, you will not cause the blood, blood pressure to be high. We regulate it through the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus Christ. And God, we command to be blessed on the job in Jesus' name. And it shall be so. Thank God.